wonderful. So to give you a bit of background, um, the museum's current Dino app is a little bit outdated, and so we kind of wanted to take a fresh look at it and see where we could take it. So I'm just gonna drive you through the product really quickly, and then some of the others will take you through our thought process behind it. So what we have here is an app called Map Thesaurus, and the basic idea here is that we're taking selfies, a behavior that people already do all the time. We're combining it with interactive maps, something else people really love to explore data. And we're using both of these things to help people learn more about dinosaurs. So to start out with this app, I can take a selfie of myself. Here's a beautiful one of our group earlier. And I can take this picture, and if I'm in the museum, then the various Bluetooth beacons located around the museum, currently used in the Explorer app, can tell me which dinosaurs are near me based upon my location. So in this case, it offers up to me this menu of dinos that it knows are in my area, and I say, oh hey, I took this picture with a Triceratops. And so from here, I can get some really basic information on this dinosaur. So we've tried to make this very user-friendly, accessible to all ages. And so we have some basic icons here on diet, whether you should be afraid of this dinosaur, how common its fossils are, and some other basic information. If you're interested in some more scientific stuff, you can press more information to get some nice content there. And then from either of these pages, you can click on the image of the dinosaur to explore where fossils of this type have been found. You can then compare these to maps of other dinosaurs and where they've been discovered as well. So why don't you guys walk through the discovery process? Hi, we're Team Wreck This Place. I'm Jenny. This is Allison. This is Renuma. This is Grace, Malio, Hang, and Ava. And we created the Map the Source app. So um, a lot went into our brainstorming process, and we narrowed it down to three things that we want. We wanted name pronunciation because it's really hard to pronounce dinosaur names and connect dinosaur enthusiasts. And we wanted to locate where dinosaurs are found. So when a user uses the app, they would um, first go to the selfie place, like the camera, and then based on your location, different dinosaurs will pop up. And the app is really useful because it gets to um, connect users inside and outside the museum. This is really important because people inside and outside of the museum can learn about the dinosaur and enjoy social media by selfies. <laughs> okay, so um, the way we decided to do the app is First, the person will take a selfie, and based on your location, different features will pop up. Okay, so this is the explanation of why we named it Map the Saurus. So it finds dinosaurs near your location, and Saurus means lizard. So it literally translates to map the lizard. And thesaurus is because you can find cool and interesting things about dinosaurs with your selfies. So thanks so much for listening. Extra round of applause for our wonderful interns.